Before we can get off the ground and get running with Excel, we really need to understand a little bit about the user interface and how it's laid out. How do we interact with the program? Where do we go to get things done? So this video's focus is going to be on exactly that, understanding the ribbon and where we actually find commands. The ribbon is the great big section up the top here with all the colorful buttons and tabs and whatnot. Now this is where all of our commands are generally stored and it's broken into a couple of pieces. In the very top left here, we have a line of icons that's called the Quick Access Toolbar. And the intent here is that Microsoft is giving you one-click access to be able to get to the commands that you use the most. The nice piece here is if you click this little icon, we can actually customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Maybe we want to add the Print Preview and Print button. This button will allow us to click and actually go in and see a print preview before we actually print our worksheets off. Or maybe we'd like to add something like the file open command or quick print that just prints directly without actually going and, uh, and doing the preview first. So there's quite a few different commands that we can actually get to to put into the quick access toolbar. And if you want more complicated scenarios where you can get even more commands, you could go and click more commands and go into an interface that will let you pull up virtually any command in Excel to give you one click access. The next line down is what we call ribbon tabs. And you can see that right now we've selected the home tab. We could click on the insert tab or the page layout tab. And there's a whole bunch of different commands behind every one of these buttons. We have something called contextual tabs. If you'll notice table tools design tab here is showing up because I'm inside an actual proper table. If I click outside the table, that tab goes away. When I click back inside the table, the Table Tools Design tab comes up and gives me commands that are specific to an actual Excel table. If I go back to the Home Group tab here, you'll see that the ribbon is actually divided into groups. We have the Clipboard group, we've got the Font group that contains all of the font commands, the Alignment group, Number group, and so on. So each of these is designed in order to try and collect common commands together in one place. This is going to help you actually find controls when you actually can go through and navigate this through and say, you know, I'm looking for how to align my text. Well, it's on the home tab, it's under alignment, so it's going to be one of these buttons. And when you mouse over it, you'll get some tooltip text that tells you exactly what's going to happen when you actually click any one of these individual icons. A little bit less discoverable though, is this icon that you sometimes see in the bottom right hand corner. This is called a dialog box launcher. And when you click on that, it will actually open a more advanced formatting section that allows you to go in and control things to a much more granular level than what you see in the user interface directly. So don't be afraid to click on those to say they give you access to more commands than you might see up front ready to go here. As far as terminology goes, it's worth noticing that uh, we have some icons on here. We have some drop down boxes. We've got things called galleries. So when I click on this, it'll give me a, a dynamic flyout menu. Um, it'll give us a bunch of different items on these. But if we go into format as table, this is a full gallery of items that actually comes up there. So it looks a little bit, a little bit different. The cell styles is a gallery as well. Right, so some different uh, ways. It's a very rich user interface design model. What's also interesting is that you can actually access any of these commands by using the keyboard. If you press your Alt key, you'll notice that you get these funky little icons or letters that come up in different places here. So if I wanted to go right now, say, to the uh, Data tab, I would press A. And when I go to the data tab by pressing A, it now says, all right, well, what would you like to do from here? So I could say, sort my table by pressing, let's see, if we want to sort it um, in ascending order, we could press SA, and it would actually sort my values in ascending order. And as soon as it's finished the chain, it actually knocks off all those letters. But again, pressing Alt will allow you to get in there. And if you do that by accident, you can press escape to make it go away. The last thing I want to show you about the ribbon is that it actually dynamically resizes for you. So if we go and click the restore down button, you'll notice that my ribbon changes here. All the buttons have collapsed now. And as I expand the width of Excel, you'll notice that those galleries and buttons, they, they start popping out and getting a little bit bigger. Now all the commands are still here, even when I collapse it all the way down. 
It just might make them a little bit harder to find. So here's the alignment group. You can see the whole thing. Here's our number styles. You can see the whole thing and our fonts as well. So it's just something to be aware of. If you see something that looks slightly different in the design that I'm using, it's probably a screen resolution difference between the two of us. Mine may have shrunk down where yours may be more expanded or vice versa.